Okay, today I was going to do the, it's a white tile when it's sprayed black. And to start with, I want to do a power test. And now with a new light burn, under laser tools, you've got a material test. So there's a pop-up material test generator. And then I just chose the amount of lines and stuff I want and the speed and powers. I made it a little bit bigger. I've done a preview, which gives me that. So now it's going to, you know, test these different speed and powers just so I can see what it does. So that's framed up in the laser, so I'm going to send that now. You can see really anything over 25 power. I'm not going to run it too fast. I'm going to go in between these, so I'm going to do about a 250 speed and about a 23 power. That should clear out everything that I need sent the photo what I edited yeah it's two coats of that one yeah rust-oleum two times flat okay but before I send it I just wanted to show 250 speed 24 power and that's how the picture looks on here it's inverted so I'm gonna start that now see that just finished and in the middle here I'm thinking that maybe when I sprayed it I sprayed the middle more than I did the edges so I've got this line and nothing moved from before so I'm just gonna send the job from that point this time I'll put it at the other end of the tile just in case just to see if it's the paint and I flip the design round just to see if I still get them lines going through it and I've lowered the speed to 200 speed and 20 power and if you remember from the material test that's what my um, letters were on there and they came out nice so I'm going to try that so 200 speed 20 power it's all framed in there ready to go <laughs> thinking what I might do is just to see I'm gonna etch it one more time starting from the top and come down and just see if it'll get rid of some of this in the face because you can see the other one I didn't have that darkness in the face but I had the line this time I don't have the line but it's darker so I'm gonna run it at a faster speed Yeah, and you can see that pass worked perfectly. That's what I was hoping would happen. And it did, yeah. It still basically kept all the detail, but got rid of the darker areas. So yeah, I'm happy with how that one came out. Perfect, really. And that second pass was a 400 speed at a 12 power. I mean, if your first pass don't go exactly how you want it, maybe just give it a quick, like, faster second pass with a lower power and just get rid of that extra stuff. On there, I'm gonna give it a quick wipe over. Yeah, so you can see that's at least for my laser good settings. As well, it probably makes a difference of how many times you spray it and stuff like that. So I say the only good thing if you don't get it right the first time, maybe you're better to use a bit lower power if you've got the time and you know etch it a couple of times. And as well, I didn't get the lines through it that time. So that this over here, I got a feeling it was a flaw in the tile because I can feel a little raise there I know because the black's there but I see as well I tried to scratch something off there but yeah so that was all correct it was just maybe the tile had a bit of a flaw so just make sure you really clean the tile off well and then thanks for watching and please like and subscribe and I'll make some more videos